Is this some kind of pattern that I don't recognize? Let's get straight to the point. This is an entry deck M combo that looks and sides like a dongle, period. As per the title suggests, it's not flawless and I will still nitpick at it. Again, this will be an easy reveal so subscribe if you will and let's start. There's only one main concern I have with this needle device, which is, I don't know how long it will last. You see, there are holes for hit dissipation and dust can certainly go inside the case. While you can see similar design in lots of full-sized amplifier, it's still unsettling for someone who's not used to it. Another thing that I can nitpick at is the user not being able to visualize volume other than the bar inside their mobile app, and a wish PC user can have similar indication as well. With that being said, the remaining is all about the positives, and I shall conclude it within one slide. Ready? 50 bucks, new decks, 4 PCM filters, dual output including a 4.4mm balance out, aluminium chassis, dongle size, cross-platform, clean sounding without noticeable noise, adequate power, and most importantly, 50 levels of independent volume control. If you have ever used a dongle, be it Apple dongle or other ones, you may know how annoying it is when you simply cannot get the desired volume out of your earphones, because the volume button on the dongle is basically the volume button on your phone. And the worst case is, if you have a very powerful dongle, its jump in digital volume is huge and there's no way to fine tune it, go big or go home. With this thing, not anymore, since the volume button has nothing to deal with the digital volume of your sources, be it phone, tablet, or PC. Like how a deck amp would normally work, you adjust the volume on the amp side and always leave the digital volume at max. Be careful though, if you are using it for the first time, Remember to minimize the volume by hard pressing the small button until the white LED flash. Because some genius at Moonjob decided to leave the volume at max, and the memory of volume will not be erased even if you unplug the device. As usual, let's conclude the video with an easy unboxing section. This is the box, the back of the box with some specifications on it. What I see when I open the box? A close-up on the chassis, everything included, namely the device, a Type-C to C cable, and a Type-C to A adapter. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye. And here we go again, welcome to the casual chatting or web section of the video, in which I will just casually generate an AR art to summarize my feeling towards the related product. And this time, I feel like this. It's small and compact, basically all you need before going down the rabbit hole. You want to know whether DAX actually make a difference? And switch around the PCM filters, and if you can tell the difference between fast linear and slow minimum. Welcome to the hellhole. You want to know whether or how balanced output will affect your earphone sound? And just plug it into the 4.4mm port. I know that a lot of items come with a balanced cable nowadays. As a cross-platform device, this thing is just a great all-in-one solution for newcomers who don't have any dongle, DAX, or AMPs. And I really don't have much to add. And that's it. Hope you found this video useful or at least entertaining as a copium piece. Feel free to explore more on my Pixiv account as well. This time for real. Bye.